Hello. In this topic I will cover two terms used in information technology, information system, document and records management. These are the basic terms document and record. Not in every word this uh, differentiation of document and record has been used. Basically this is uh, English speaking uh, word understanding to make difference between document and record. Uh, of course, there are different terms in German, for example, Schriftstück, or in, in Russian, document, uh, uh, which is uh, uh, basically meaning of record. But still, it's not very easy to understand why in uh, document and records management people make so clear distinction between document and record. There is a historical uh, development. Why and how this differentiation has made? First of all, uh, if we look on the etymological side of these two terms, we look on the document. Document is from Latin root doceo, doceo as they say now, tokeo, mentum, which means something which is uh, uh, given information, something where we can uh, establish knowledge. But record, it's a different meaning. This doesn't have uh, any kind of, of Latin root. The root, the etymological root, is from the Middle Age French language, and this means re Cordari. Of course, it's some, something deal with the Latin recordari. This means the, to remember something, to, to, to be remembered, to be written down. And the basic meaning is that one is that we can find out something from document and another is we can lay on this document. We can lay on this document. Of course, uh, what kind of definition is the best for the document and for the record? Uh, in English-speaking word, definition of the terms document and record has been written down in many uh, standards, in, in, any, in, in many uh, encyclopedias, and I will give some uh, examples and will establish what kind of... Uh, what, what, what they mean. First, uh, I will uh, read the definition from, uh, uh, from the beginning of the 20th century. A document is a written evidence or a fact having a juridical nature compiled in compliance with determined forms which are meant to provide it with full faith and credit. The stress, what is the document, is, is a written evidence of a fact, documents dealing with the facts, and this means not just natural fact, but juridical fact. Juridical fact, of course, is established fact in juridical system. It's uh, juridical fact might be na natural fact also, like birth or death, but uh, basically must, it must be a uh, uh, fact which has been somehow documented, like marriage certificate. Of course, this is a good example. We have the natural birth and we have the birth certificate. One is natural fact, another is juridical fact. Where is mother and father and, and name and, and sex and uh, date of birth are written down. This has been long uh, uh, roots to understand document as a juridical evidence, written juridical evidence. And in um, common, common language, if we, we say, give me a document of this and document of that, we mean that this is not just a bus ticket or something like this, but more or less like birth certificate or any kind of, of, of tax certificates and so on and so on. This definition was uh, used uh, until the middle of the 20th century. In the beginning of the 20th century, uh, many information scientists start to think what, is the gen what might be the general term 
for printed matters. And they come to the common solution that this is document. They use the term document. This document was uh, uh, defined. The term was conceptualized using the word information. And uh, this, start, this was the starting point, point in uh, 1930s, basically, in 1920s, 1930s, that uh, document was not defined through the written evidence in the theoretical nature, but through the source of information. I will count the next definition established by the uh, Bureau of uh, Information from uh, 1937, before the Second World War. The stance document is any source of information in material form capable of being used for reference or study or as an authority. All these words are very meaningful. The material form, many establish that this material form is, is essence of the definition. It's not. The essence is, is, is information. Document is information. Document is information. This is general. It's true information. Capable of being used for reference or study. It's basically the book or, or letter or article or something like this. Or as an authority. Authority is the theoretical nature of the, of the document here. You can lay on this, like this birth certificate or, or uh, marriage cer certificate or any other uh, legal document agreement, legal acts, laws, regulations. After the Second World War, many information scientists wanted to widen, even widen, this already quite wide definition. And of course, the famous widening of document definition, widening by my mind ad absurdum, is definition given by uh, Madame de la Documentation, Suzanne Briet, from 1951. This stands, a document is any physical and symbolic sign preserved or recorded intend to represent, to reconstruct or to demonstrate a physical and conceptual phenomenon. This doesn't say anything about the common people. This is a very subject matter centric, library centric, I may say, definition. And of course, there's a famous analysis, what is document, where Suzanne Brie analyzed that, that is, the, the, is the picture of the moon document. He said, yes, picture of the moon is document. Is there any kind of, um, of, of stone uh, from, from asteroid or from moon, a document. Yes, it's document because it, we can study it. And then, it, then was, of course, the, the famous antelope example that is, a, is an antelope in the zoo, a document. And he says, yes, it's because it's, it's, they, we, we uh, captured the antelope and, and put it into the zoo for study. And this is a document, but the antelope in the wild nature is not the document, and of course this is the very professional understanding and not, none of the common, none of the common, common uh, uh, people understand the document, uh, that the animals in the zoo are the documents. This just doesn't, uh, comes like this. Of course, this is from, this was an ad absurdum widening of the definition of the document. From that point, uh, there was no any kind of possibilities to widen anymore. And of course, uh, the uh, distinction between document and the record has been taken place from, from 1950s from, to nowadays. Many uh, cultures like French, German, Russian, and Estonian, of course, uh, doesn't know different word for, for document and record. We never used this kind of uh, word. In German, of course, there is. In the, in the, legal, in the legislation, the word Urkunde, 
which is basically the same as the evidence, something which is named differently from document, Urkunde. It comes from, uh, from 16th century um, into the German language in 16th century and this is a direct translation from the Latin word diploma. In English language, uh, distinction between document and record has been established and put into the standards. Document management standards, ISO standard 15 uh, and 489 gives two uh, definitions, one for document, another for record. Document is defined as follows. In ISO standard for document management, ISO 15, 489, there is a two definitions, one for document, another for record. Document definition stands, document is recorded information or object which can be treated as a unit. That basically it means that the document is unit of something. Definition of records stands, record is information created, received and maintained as evidence and information by an organization or person in pursuance of legal obligations or the transactions of business. The difference between these two are quite clear. In one it's just a unit and in another the meaning of the record is very much the same as the meaning of the document was 80 years ago. I repeat, what, the, what are the basic characteristics of the record? Which is, it has been created or received, it has been maintained, and we will cover later the maintenance or life cycle as we call it. It is an evidence and information, but the evidence is, is more important for an organization or for a person in pursuance of legal obligations or in transaction of business. Basically, business record, the word, transaction of business, recorded, is a business record, is a record. 